Hi, Genevieve Jacobs from Region Media with this week's news update, which comes from the RSPCA. RSPCA Director Michelle Robertson is with me, as is Gordo the Kitten, and we've got lots of furry little friends behind us, including Huey back here, who suffered the misfortune of being attacked by birds, if you can believe that. But Michelle, in the midst of lockdown, this is actually a good news story. How many animals have you got in the shelter? At the moment, we've got 117, Genevieve, and that's the lowest number that I've seen in three years. So definite silver lining for us. So what, what do you think is happening? It's a few um, contributing factors. Firstly, we've had an amazing adoption uptake. Thank you, community, for adopting. Um, and we've had, as soon as animals are available for adoption, they get adopted out. But we've also seen less strays coming in and we've had less surrenders. So really more responsible pet ownership and just good for animal welfare. Isn't that an interesting observation that when people are at home and not doing their usual frantic lives, they're actually maybe more focused on the animals? 100% and it shows us what is possible. So I, I really hope once we get through this really tough time that we're gonna hold on to those things that are possible. And wouldn't it be amazing if we, in a situation where we have even less animals in the shelter. Yeah, and look, of course, there are still 117 animals here, but low numbers of cats, low numbers of dogs, all kinds of things, which is wonderful, wonderful news. What have you been telling people about lockdown pet adoptions? What, what do people need to watch out for and know about? Any time is a good time to adopt a pet if you do it for the right reasons. It can't be an impulse decision. So it, you need to look at your lifestyle, you need to look at your circumstances, and you need to consider the transition when you go back to work. And if you've thought about all those things, I would encourage anybody to adopt right now, get that animal, because it will definitely make your life better. And one of those things that I guess we factor into, you and I have talked a lot about taking animals to work, about being conscious that the lockdown is now. People will go back to work in the end, so they need to think ahead, they need to plan how this animal is going to fit into their whole lives. Absolutely. And as we saw more workplaces becoming um, animal friendly, it would be really good if we can again adopt perhaps working from home a few days where you can spend time with your animals as we return back to normal. Yeah, well, you know how much we love Mr <laughs> Smiggle, the region media head of HR, who's now being babysat by his adoring fans in the RSPCA office. <laughs> but this is, of course, an essential service. So it's wonderful to, to know that this is happening in our community. And another message too you've got, Michelle, about dog walkers and, and the dogs that are in the shelter. Yeah, walking your dog is a great thing, thank you very much, but please keep your dog on lead and especially if you come to walk here by our shelter, please don't take your dog off lead. Our dogs really struggle with that. Mm, yeah, important one. So if you're in the Western Creek area and you're walking past the RSPCA, just take great care to restrain your animal. Also making news on the Riot Act this week, actually quite a few animal stories. We are talking about the lockdown regulations, some slight changes in place from Friday afternoon, and we've got the lowdown for you on the lockdown easing. But we're also talking about magpies. Tis the season. Got a belter of a video from Ravensworth winemaker Brian Martin about the magpie that just hates him. Absolutely just hates him. Happy with the whole of the rest of the Martin family. Brian reckons he sits on a branch sharpening his beak and waiting for Brian to appear. There's now quite a lot of debate about what Brian should do about that situation. We're also talking about the pink lake at Bruce. And this is a bit of a fascinating local phenomenon. The lake is covered with an Australian water fern called Azola, and it's the most beautiful, dusky, vivid pink. Looks absolutely glorious. And our five minutes with regular food spot is not this time with the high-end restaurateurs of Canberra, but with Andrew from the G-Spot at Gungarlan, who is widely loved by his community for a huge amount of charitable work and a cheeky, positive, very community-affirming attitude. All that and more on the Riot Act. We've got a daily email, a daily a digest that pops into your inbox and a weekly newsletter, so sign up for those. There's always an RSPCA pet of the week. Michelle, great to be with you as always and the rest of the gang and lovely to be celebrating a good news story. Thank you, Genevieve. I'm Genevieve Jacobs. This is Region Media.